just tank him. And I think in my first one, I was, I was just the adrenaline was crazy. Yeah. Like I, I was did not expect uh, it at all, and I'm just like yeah. shaking. And I, I think I ran out of food because I'd done like earlier bits kind of bad. Yeah. And I ended up dying to the fucking melee of the healers, which is like pretty shit. Yeah, that's a sad way and to go. I, I, I was literally like 20, 24. Like, I think I got like a bit luckier on hits, I'd have killed it. Yeah. So, and the second time I did, I think I just choked the thing. It's like you go, you constantly get, I don't know how long it is. I mean, it's like two point, it's like three seconds between attacks or something. Yeah. And you get maybe like a second uh, in which you can like, you know, do the thing. But then when you get the healer, you have to like click the healer, still be watching the attack form, then press the right attack form. And also, if you walk into him, you can also melee you. Right. So it's a bit of it's just a general nightmare to deal with. And it, it, you know, it's not like realistically, probably shouldn't be that hard. But because of the like stakes on it, you know, if you fuck up, you got like a 50 minute log to get back to. Yeah. And then, and then like, they added like a, a hard, a hard one. But that shit's mad. It's similar in like the, the fact you know you gotta grind through a long ass thing before you get to the final boss. Yeah. Like the let to you know on the one I was doing, you have to kill the jab. Yeah. Then on oh, the inferno, so second to last wave you have to kill the jab. Then the last wave before the boss you gotta kill three jads at the same time. Right. So you know watch the attack and see where it's gonna be going. But you've almost got to be watching the next dude while you're praying for the first dude. Nice. And then obviously, like, it gets easier because you can one thing and then Which is still really hard and you have to have been in there for so long to get to that point. Yeah, it's just all a bit of a nightmare. And then, when you get to the final room, the main boss is, is, is actually crazy. The main boss is like one side of the wall and you get like a, a little platform you've got to stick behind. If you don't yeah. stick behind the platform, uh, you'll be able to die. You gotta run left and right while this problem is going left and right. Yeah. Uh, and you've got to shut the other side behind you to attack the wall. So you got the aggro that, then you've also got to pray for it. It's like you've got to run and avoid the fucking main dude. And you also have to fucking stay behind the thing. And at one point you have to you know, kill the jack while running up the nice like. Dude, that shit sounds just insane though. Like, how do people do. Yeah, I, I don't know. Have you ever attempted but, it? Have you know about that uh, far? I not far. But I know uh, somebody did it on a... So, for reference, my account is level 105. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, 80, 80 plus in like level, which is I'm pretty high. Yeah, yeah. Did it on a level 58, one defense. Jesus Christ. How? I don't know. I actually don't know. I think he did with like 75 range and 75 magic, and I'm like 85 range, 76 magic. Man's just a beast. And the Inferno's got like just harder base, like because um in the in, cause they have like different like bosses that get harder and harder to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, but in the Inferno they like. Because in the normal one, you got melee dudes and saves from one wall. In the Inferno, you got melee dudes, uh, but the melee dudes um, fucking teleport. So if they get stuck behind something, they'll just teleport on you. And you still got to also deal with range and magic dudes. So it's like. Plus, you got to kill things that can destroy pillars for you to hide behind. And you got to pray for like. Same time, and you can intensify it. It's like, holy shit, dude. It, like, I don't. I don't know how anyone does that. A lot to remember. It, it was super cool when it came out, though. Cause it, I remember there being lots of people trying to run it. Trying to get it. Mean, everyone was trying to run it, and it's like. People were getting hyped, yeah. Because it was so funny when the first person got to like, the last boss or whatever. Yeah. And they had no fucking idea what to do. Because, you know, like, the, the, going to the boss room, like, you don't get that long to work out what's going on. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it's like, we were getting to a final boss after the triple jab. No fucking And then they just get thrown into this little fucking, like, what is going on? This is crazy shit. Sure. I mean, it became doable, it would work out, but it's still like. It's interesting how you can have like that like level of skill in a game that has a very simple mechanic. I don't know if they'll ever be able to add anything like actually hard on that. There's always a way to make things more difficult, mate. I don't know if they can make it like because the, the, yeah, there's ways you can make it harder. But like it's a bit of a There's a thing called Tiki. The game has, I think, it's like it's one tick every like 0 0.4 seconds. And a lot of weapons are taking like every 4 ticks, so that's basically how the game does it. Like, yeah. yeah. And if you keep the correct tick so in the right like 0 0.4 seconds, as you see damage up to the game, you help you with the zero, but you need to back up so you won't die. So it should, it should kill you. Uh, it will not kill you. And that's the way you can like a lot of shit that you should be able to do. Fair. And it's like some people have done the entire fight game by taking it. It's like they don't have prayer. Because a lot of you know, prayer makes the game super easy. You can really put invincible against like melee or magic or uh, magic or whatever. Without fucking. And it's like the only way you can do it is taking See, I don't fully understand prayer in fucking. Uh, it's literally, you have to take from melee, and those things, let's specify, just can't damage you with that, but, uh, I mean, attack, uh, method. Other players, like other players, that is more like 40%. But NPCs can't attack you. The ones you get like 40% you can do pretty much like every quest. Some things have like an attack that'll, you know, go through uh prayer and shit. Fucking Dark Souls is done, boys. We're over. Finally. Now what? Uh, fucking one. Shit. I have to wait for security to come out now. That's What's the fucking that? Gale that no big? hit run. Gale's dead. Fuck me. That's every boss in the game done. Shit. Uh. Nice.